Nebraska native Dante Rodriguez was a highly decorated high school wrestler, being a three-time state champion with 155 and 16 overall record and qualified for the world team in Greco. Despite all the accolades, not many collegiate coaches were contacting Rodriguez. So Dante decided to take it into his own hands and reach out to the coaches, one in particular being Kevin Jackson. I started contacting coaches and I ended up contacting KJ and he got back to me right away. Uh, actually called me the next day after I emailed him and uh, we just got the ball rolling from there. Jackson was surprised that he was still available and jumped on the opportunity to bring Rodriguez to Ames. It was after sitting down with Dante and his family that he realized he is not only a great person on the mat, but off the mat as well, which is exactly what Jackson wants in his wrestling program. He comes from uh, a great family background. He um, was family oriented. He, he loves being around his mom, his dad, his brother. Um, and so I, I really enjoyed being around, around the family and realized that he was um, a good citizen, a good, a good person. Um, and then other than that, he, he could wrestle. I mean, the bottom line is uh, we're trying to get the best wrestlers um, uh, here at Iowa State, and, and he had proven through his results that he was one of the best, best wrestlers out there. And I think uh, he was sold on our coaching staff and Iowa State, uh, which made it uh, a little bit easier to uh, communicate with him about, about coming here uh, so late in the process. Over three-fourths of the current Iowa State wrestling roster redshirted their freshman year, including two-time All-American Michael Moreno and two-time All-American and Big 12 champion Kyvin Gatson. But Kevin Jackson decided to go against the grain and not redshirt Dante because he felt in his mind that he was ready for the big stage. He had wrestled um, some very, very quality um, uh, ranked uh, guys in his weight class and uh, either beat them or was uh, in position to beat them. Uh, also, his mind was in a, in a spot where he believed he could compete at a very, very high level um, during, his, during his true freshman year. Um, all those components come into play uh, before I pull a kid's red shirt. Um, he was the best option for us uh, at that time, and he uh, wanted to do it um, and believed he could do it. Rodriguez has been successful this season by posting a 12-5 and record so far in his freshman year with nine of those victories coming by a pinfall. Practice partner Gabe Marino says the Dante we see in the matches is not the same Dante he faces in practice. What makes him really successful is he's just a gamer because in practice he's a completely different wrestler than when he's on the mat. Like sometimes I'm, I can't believe that he's going out there and doing the things he's doing after wrestling him in practice. Not saying he's bad in practice, but he's a gamer. He for sure turns it up about 100 notches once he steps on the mat. I'm not a practice person. Uh, sometimes I really don't like drills or I don't like just like doing the slow things I just like wrestling live or just I just like going out and competing that's what, that's my favorite thing about wrestling I just like going out there and competing. Both Rodriguez and Jackson have high expectations for Dante for the remainder of the season and for his career at Iowa State. I have goals to be a national champion I have a goal to be a conference champion I have goals to try to go undefeated in my seasons uh, and then, as well, I want to be on the Olympic team, but that's just going to take hard work. Well, I, I definitely uh, uh, forecast him as a national champion, um, definitely a multiple-time All-American. Uh, he has a great opportunity, you know, this year to qualify his weight class to get to the NCAA tournament um, and, then, and then do some things once he gets there. Preparation for the Big 12 championships and the NCAA championships continue as the 11th-ranked Cyclones will travel to Norman on Saturday to take on the 18th-ranked Oklahoma Sooners. For Cyclones.TV, I'm Alan Fidelke.